sink a few powers tonight. Well, as you called it, mate, that man with that funny name. <laughs> but, uh, Mark Tyson, very famous name. I wonder if he's got hand grenades inside him like Mark Tyson, uh, Mike Tyson, I should say, has. Mike Tyson, well, uh, as you'd said, are you... A little bit of difference in weight there, mate. 68 kilos, uh, four fights, four wins, but look at that. He might have the punch in him, mate. Three KOs. A baby, Mike Tyson. Yeah, could be the pocket rocket. We'll have to wait and see. This is five, one and a half minute bounce. Rounds, I should say, not bouts, with the minute break. And in comes Glenn, 70.1 kilos. Three fights, three wins, no KOs. No KOs. Well, we've both seen uh, Pagagari fight before, and a pretty impressive fight it was for him, but tonight's going to be a different matter for him. Yes, uh, that last time we saw him fight, it was a little bit of a mismatch and uh, didn't really test Glenn. This might be just that test he needs. Well, we're looking for uh, a big hit from him. Mark Tyson. Maybe he's got those hand grenades that Mike possesses. Maybe he could sort this out very early on in the piece. I don't know. Very high guard from Glenn. He holds his hands up very high, whereabouts Mark is a very much a low guard fighter. Um, I don't know how that'll work. Good roundhouse there. I just don't know how that's going to work as we were into this fight. You see the guys with the high guard tend to drop them as we get further into the fight. And uh, it could happen such to Mark. Boys are just feeling one another out here virtually, just checking out the style. A couple of kicks coming in. He's just swapped for a very different camera angle then. Oh, that was a good tag. He tagged him with that left then. Tyson walked straight into that. Nice left and right. Trying with the uppercut. He's tagged him a couple of times in this first round, so. Mark's going to have to work a little on his guard. He's going to have to keep those hands up there a little bit too low as we complete round one. But that is an interesting point. These uh, fighters who come in with the low guard uh, are leaving themselves open for a big hit. And uh, those ones who have their guard high up in the early on in the fight, uh, they tend to drop it later on in the fight as uh, their energy is at... Well, Steve Skibberis, who was uh, in charge of Malcolm Henning in the bout earlier, will be looking for Glenn to try and resurrect the pride of his gym at the moment. And uh, a lot rests on Glenn at this point in time. As we come out for round two. Glenn's still got that high guard. Mark Tyson is just sort of trying to combat it all. Oh, snuck that through then. But, uh, these two boxes are well matched, actually. Working on the thigh region there. Of, uh... Greg, I've noticed a lot of uh, kicks do land on that thigh region. These boys must have a lot of hamstring bruising at the completion of a fight. They do a lot of work around the thigh region, so uh, they, they can absorb quite a bit of punishment around that area, but the, the idea of hitting around the thigh region is to um, work on the legs and make the legs, um, well, so they don't have any legs to stand, no. therefore the fight's over. Yeah. But uh, is there any sort of weight training that they can do to sort of, like, strengthen that area? Oh, just little squats and... Uh... And of course, the, the best way to get to um, harden them up is to take kicks on them. Hard way to do it. Hard way to do it. Well, the boys are still working one another out. Oh, good right. Great right from Tyson. He actually wore the kick, but he uh, gave a beautiful right over the top. But right over the top of Glenn's guard, McGregory's going to have to work this one around. Got him back in the blue. Missed with that uppercut. A little bit of a combination left and right coming in now. And Mark Tyson is back and he's hanging on for grim death at the moment. Glenn snuck quite a few amount of those punches right through the guard. And as I said earlier in the fight, very low guard hanged on by Mike, Mike Tyson, and that's going to be tough for him. OK, completion of the round. Let's go back to the corner. Glenn in the blue. Let's mark in the red. Alex Tilly up against Cash for the Flash Gill. Second time round, Tilly fought Gill in England. Lost that one. Hopefully, as you said earlier, home turf here at the Homebush Centre. We'll change all that. Centre ring. As we complete, or well, start, should I say, round three of our five round fight tonight. And Mark Tyson ended up in the receiving in the latter part of that last round, so he's going to have to watch it. Because Glenn will be coming on mighty hard. 
As Glenn's got the reach, he should be using a little more. He's got a, a great guard. He holds his uh, hands up high, and of course, it's very hard to get a, a hit in with a guy like this. A nice reverse turning kick from Mark Tyson. Of course, it didn't hit the mark, luckily for Glenn. Very few boxers can eat, get that actually into, into gear and make it work for them, can they? Well, usually reverse turning kicks are used when the, the other fighter's um, dead on his feet, and uh, it's usually a finishing off kick. Because if you get hit by one of those, that is, it's usually... And there's a lot of body weight behind it, isn't it? A very, very, very powerful kick. The boys are working it around still, I, I'd say, at this point in time, but uh, we're looking at Glenn Bagagari being out in front on points. Mike Toss has taken a lot of punches to get in close. He's got to get in close because of Glenn's reach. Glenn has a much superior reach, and uh, that's going to be tough for him. <coughs> oh, oh, nice. tagged him then, didn't he, with that right short right? Followed by the left and right combination, and he's got him backpedalling again. And he's going to make our man from the blue corner see red, I have a feeling. Well, Mike Tyson, he has to get away from this guy. But and I, I wish it was Mike Tyson there. Oh, sorry, Mike. Nice. I guess I got Mike Tyson <laughs> yes. on the phone. Yes. He Mike. might like to think he was. Well, Mike, Mike, nice start with him, mate. <laughs> Round four. Again, the fight starting. It's, it's just the same scenario as the first three rounds. It's like Glenn thrusts that uh, front kick out there and then moves in with the hands. He looks a much bigger man, doesn't he? He's a much bigger man, yes. Uh, he's, he's, he, that reach is definitely in his favour. Good couple of combinations there from Mark. He's coming in, Tyson's coming in, trying his hardest to get in there. Tries a little round of kick there, doesn't work for him. You can't blame him for trying, mate. He's tried everything at the moment. What I'd suggest him to do is just get away from him, move in, have a go, and then move out as fast as he can. This is what he's got to do with this big guy. Mark's much wider through the shoulders, much uh, much broader across Stop that area. Him, yes. But unfortunately for him, he just lacks that little bit of reach. No, but I've seen some smart fighters over the years with, uh, you know, the smaller guys moving in and... Uh, oh, good left. Go. Strong left and right. I think we're going to have a stand count here. Maybe no. Tyson gets out of there. Very well done. Oh, he just wore a big right, too. He had to wear a few to get out of there. At least he did well there. I thought he was in trouble, but uh, come good. It's amazing how a fighter can soon be in trouble, and then all of a sudden, well, he's, 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 he's on the lucky. offensive. And he's lucky he, that uh, kick from Glenn missed, because he, he had uh, Mark lined up there, and of course Mark just moved his head back in time. The spring's gone out of Tyson's feet now. He is just on for Grimdale. Standing count, I'd say. Put him in the neutral corner, says the ref. He's got to give him a standing eight. Gagory just sucking in those big breaths as the bell sounds for the completion of round four and not a second too soon. I'd say for Mark Tyson. He's a very popular number five. Oh, absolutely. I know that Steve Skiveris is a very enthusiastic trainer and he works very well with his boys and I'm sure that uh, he was a little disappointed in uh, Malcolm Henning's loss earlier on but this will make up for it if uh, well we can see really. Glenn come through and take tonight's bout. I think Mark's looking at trying to stop it here. He's got to try and put him down on the canvas. He's a desperate man at this stage of the fight. Big couple of blazing punches to start from both boys. A lot of leather on both of those. I think Mark knows it too, mate. He's going after it straight away. He's walking right up, and he is trying his hardest. But Glenn is such a composed uh, fighter. He's, uh, he's been very cool in this fight. He's, he's done the right uh, things to, uh, I say, win this fight. He's looking good for the future, mate. Uh, a couple more bouts, and uh, he could definitely uh, come good. But he's working well on Mark Tyson now, and Tyson's taking a lot of punishment. Here he's got him on the ropes again, but uh, Tyson moves. Oh, on. tags him with a great left there. See how he holds his head, the referee yeah. having a word to him. Yeah, he's got to tell him about that. Unfortunately, it's not allowed to happen. This is not street fighting. This is kickboxing. He's definitely got the measure here tonight, unfortunately, for Mark Tyson. I see him thrusting that uh, left out there, his left hand, and, of course, um, Mark Tyson just hasn't had an answer for it. It's interesting to know, too, Mark Tyson trains himself, and that's a big ask on anyone today. It's like being a captain coach of a, of a sporting team. It's a big ask. You've got to assess yourself. You've got to push yourself. There's a lot of work to do, and there's some big rights coming in there from Glenn. Yes, today's sport is neutral corner. Sends him to a neutral. He wants to go to the other side. 
as I was saying, today's sport's too professional to, uh, it's very, it makes it very difficult for someone to uh, coach themselves. A little bit of help here, Mark's count will be a little bit longer than normal because uh, Glenn didn't go straight to the initial corner. As the bell sounds to complete that fight, and without doubt I think you're going to see the winner of this bout coming out of our blue corner, Glenn Brigagri. It's good to see the camaraderie amongst these fellows. They seem to have a mutual respect for one another. There's no animosity at the completion of a bout. No, I think they, uh, as we say about this energy bit, they use a lot of their energy in the fight and of course... Uh, as we call it, mate, Glenn Bagagory. Do good. This is Dance for Frato. Now, but the best of mates. Oh, what a way to make a friendship, eh? Yeah. 